So here's the first look at my 1940 DeSoto. I want to say it's an S7 designation. It's a four-door sedan. I got this from a guy that pulled it out of a field. It was apparently sitting on this farm since 1953, according to the license plate. Kind of cool. It's still there. Car is really complete for what it is. Doesn't look like it's ever really been apart. All the bolts have been coming right out, and the threads look brand new. So. The um, rear hubs were stuck, so I pulled them off. They were completely packed, and I mean packed, with mud. The guy said when he got the car, it was sitting up to about here, completely buried. He had to shovel the dirt out of the inside and stuff, so it's been sitting a very long time. But I got them freed up. It was missing a drum on this side. So I had one off of that axle from my 37 Plymouth here. And I've got brand new brakes for that car sitting over there. So I just stole this drum just to roll this one around. It's too small for the original backing plates for this car. So I just took the brakes apart and took the backing plate off and just have it on there just so I can roll the car around. But it's in pretty good shape. This is the worst of the damage. I actually found believe it or not, a new old stock fender for this thing if I end up wanting to spend $400 on it. But other than that, it's in pretty good shape. It's missing a deck lid. There's a classic car wrecking yard a couple towns over that supposedly has a deck lid for the car. So I'm going to try and pick that up one of these days. The roof was all caved in. You can see that kind of discolored spot, that's where water's been sitting in it. So it's probably a little thin. I don't see any holes, but I got it all pushed back out. It was caved in about a good foot. And I popped that back out. Still pretty wavy, but I don't care. That's good enough. I'm not restoring the car. I'm just preserving what's there and getting it back on the road. So, still has the original Flathead 6. I'm not sure if it's a 201 like the Plymouth had, but it's a flat 6. And it's been sitting opened up for who knows how long. I just dropped the oil pan on it. And surprise, surprise, we've got the most garbage I've ever seen packed into an oil pan. And there's more crammed up in the engine. So, things have definitely been living in it for several decades. So, I'm going to be pulling the motor out and going through it. Go from there. This spark plug was broken off. So, I don't know how bad cylinder number two is going to be. But, that's all that's left in there. And the spark plug is broken kind of oddly. I'm not sure how that happened. It's like someone tried to pull it out, like unthread it, and just broke off. So I don't know if that cylinder is going to be junk or not. Might be learning how to sleeve a motor. We shall see. But everything else is pretty well there, all the main stuff. So, it's got a carter on it. I've got three of those on a straight six somewhere. So anyways, going through this car is pretty cool. This is the high trim model. This is a custom versus a deluxe. So it's got the stainless around the windows here and in the back. And then it's also got the extra trim around the taillights, which is pretty cool. So this was the higher of the two options. It's actually got kind of interesting. It's got two completely separate heaters. So one's right there and one is on the other side of the column there. So I'm wondering if they usually just had the one and then for the high option cars they put a passenger heater in it or something. 
Not sure. Kind of interesting though. But it's got a crossover across the firewall here. You can see where it goes in on that side and then this one goes in on that side. So I thought that was kind of interesting. But anyways, that's the DeSoto. So I'm going to get ready to pull the motor. I'm going to try not to pull the clip off because it's probably never been off and it's all still lined up really well. So pull the motor and start going through it.